Thank you to Game Work Create for being a channel partner. Looking for a Kickstarter game you missed or 3D printed minis? Game Work Create has a huge selection available, all at a fair price. Use the link in the description below to check out all that Game Work Create has to offer. What's up, Rockstars? In this tiny box is a lot of plastic, and I mean a lot. There are some improvements here I want to show you guys. I have the old system, I got the new system here. Let's dive in and see what Archon has in store for us. Now before I'd like to get started, I'd like to thank my sponsor of today's video, my patrons and YouTube members. It is through their financial support that this channel is possible. Thank you so much for your support. If you like this channel, if you like what you see, and you can afford even a dollar a month, it helps immensely. Trust me, it all adds up and it helps afford a lot of this expensive crap that I show off to you guys and uh, try and critique. So if you appreciate uh, my videos, whether it's the depth of them or anything like that, or maybe just want some behind the scenes looks at things, there is a link down to my patron below. Now let's go ahead and get back to this. All right. So it looks like they sent me the Xeno Dragon. This is huge. If you ever want to upgrade the Queen and Nemesis, this is what you want. I'm going to build this. I'm going to show it off. You're going to see it. It is perfect, but we're going to go top down right after I kind of look at what I got here. So we also got Xeno Genesis Cell, perfect for a dragon or some aliens or something like that. Might even make for some cool walls perhaps in a game somewhere or an RPG or whatever you happen to be playing. Then we have the Animal Companion set. Uh, I have another version of this. I don't know if it's different or not, so I'll have to take a look. It has a little opening here, so we're going to take a look at what the difference is there. Also, there is a jukebox, or not a jukebox, a uh, soda machine, snack machine, vending machine mimic. So that's a thing. And then this is really cool. This is the sci-fi starter set. This is for their new stuff that actually has the clips where you can like stack them up above each other. Really interested to see this. Uh, I'll compare this to the old core set in starter box. The main thing you'll notice is, of course, those new clips. And then it actually comes with some doodads and stuff. All right, let's go ahead and dive right into all this. All right, here we are at the top down view. We're gonna look at everything up closer. We're gonna compare and contrast the starter set. For the Animal Companion set, this is the exact same one as the one I've already backed, or the one I already received. It's just the uh, the layout and the the you know branding of it. It's a little bit different, but I'll go and link down in the description below where I unboxed all of the other Dungeons and Lasers stuff, a whole bunch of sets from the first one, and uh, you can see this uh, in detail there. So with that, let's go to the Xeno Dragon. I'm excited to see this. Now this is going to be on sprue until I build it. I'll build it and show it to you guys at the end of the video. So if you're interested in seeing that, either skip to there now or uh, just hold on tight and we'll get to it. For now, I want to actually kind of review it. When, when I show it at the end, I'll talk about how it built, talk about how it looks once built. Um, from a, a guy who's very average when it comes to building. I'm not that great, but I'm not terrible at it either. Um, and then we will we'll kind of go from there. This one, I'm just going to be talking about the actual sprues, like the detail and, and stuff like that. Uh, so right off the bat, it's a lighter gray than I anticipated, um, which is fine, but the lighter the gray, the harder it is to often see the details. So we'll see how this kind of shows up here for you. All right, guys, and this is the final built thing, I guess, that I made. I tried to make something, like, as big as possible. I think a lot of people are going to spread out. I wanted to kind of spread up, but also, like, have, like, a, a, a natural structure. Uh, and then I have the um, the Z Xeno Dragon here as well. But let's go ahead and dive into this. I'll kind of explain what's going on here. So we're going to go ahead and move this. And as you can see... First level, and like I even like invented a little kind of silly, you know, uh, theme, you know, where like you can tell something's up when this guy's all dead on there. But um, you know, we got like security cameras here and some vents over here, as you can see as well. Um, I can, uh, and then uh, like a, a little monitor system or something like that. And I also made it a big point not to use any glue anywhere. So all of this, the only thing is, is that these are stuck with some putty, 
but that's easy enough to do. Literally, I didn't even glue this together. Um, it just, most of them pretty snap in pretty good, but otherwise, um, you know, the, like this is a little loose, but once you putty it down there, it, it kind of stays. Um, so as you can see, I used the long walls here, and then this is kind of the normal one that you're used to. If you backed Dungeons and Lasers, the first one, this is kind of what you got, and you could build out and do stuff like that. The new thing here, and I'm going to go ahead and use this as an example, are these right here. So I did notice on the box uh, that, that they're, they're careful to always put the wall on the back. And the reason is because this does have an overhang, right? So when you, when you latch it on, it latches on like that. So you do have a little bit of an overhang when, when you use that uh, secondary thing. But that keeps it from, from sliding around. So if we take a look at like like this one here, right? It kind of goes on there and then uh, just kind of latches, right? So you can, there's a little bit of wiggle, but otherwise it doesn't it doesn't actually like really move. And the reason this is like this, because I did notice this, when you put these in there, up there, see how it doesn't quite have enough to latch on. So we'll pull that out and then it can go on there more evenly. Um, I also make sure to not put it on here because I think it looks a little bit dumber. <laughs> If that makes sense. But let's go ahead and take a look. So that's like, first one, I'm going to have like two little entrances here. Another cool thing I always felt is that they have the little kind of four squares, um, you know, uh, for like D&D &D and stuff like that. So you kind of know where you are. Each thing has some kind of delimiter that makes it work in there. Um, but either way... The second level then would just go on just like this. And as you can see, this can latch on here. I used everything, everything but this one wall is the only thing extra. When it comes to walls, I also used all of the clips here. So you'll notice like there's not a clip here. Um, I got almost all of them clipped where they need to go. Uh, again, not really typically doing it by the doors. I did it on this one because otherwise there's not a lot coming this way, but there's two locking that way, just so there's less wiggle. And there's like very little, as you can see. So this is kind of the structure as it looks like there. You can kind of kind of get a sense of it. Oh. This normally snaps in. Now, because I didn't use any glue, I also didn't really use a hobby knife. All I did was my, um, my clippers here. So they won't necessarily be as flush as they could be. Right, if you scrape those with a knife, but I really wanted to like kind of put this to the test and really try and see, okay, how uh, you know how good can you build this just doing that? So you'll see like there's uh, you know little clippings here that need to be trimmed off and stuff like this. This could be a lot more flush, um, but I just wanted to kind of and and again that's in there. You can even put stuff on there. I thought about and you could even do is on the bottom of these, right? So down here. You might even be able to um, put like the lights and stuff like that or hang something in there. Now that's like the edge or this is the circle. But either way, you could probably stick stuff on the bottom or the top of the ceiling, which would be kind of cool too. All right, so the next layer down is, or up, I guess, is this. And on this one, I built a little kind of outlet so you can see you can come out and then have a little thing here this would be really cool if you're doing like a sniper nest or something like that or you know who knows what but either way you can put some railing here maybe even from rampart and i think that would be pretty cool um this was kind of like the alien one where there's like an alien portal i put even like a little stargate dais thing here and uh you know some kind of control unit here and uh, another camera obviously to look at the entrance and a light outside you know little things like that that i think are kind of cool and then you have the final layer here. This one, what I wanted to try to do is do an overhang, right? So you can have something like that. Uh, but I actually think put it this way because I think that was even more because now the overhang is an entire like room, right? But this now you could, you know, actually be down in, in there, which I think is kind of cool. But on this top one, again, just... Another little camera, another little turret, and a little kind of back to tank little thing. Again, nothing glued at all here, and nothing even really trimmed. This was just a quick kind of, you know, get them off the sprue and then call it good. Uh, and I was quite impressed by how, how big of a structure I could make with just the starter set. Um, the, what makes the starter set, I think, 
stand out is this stuff here, right? Is actually not just having an empty place with no objectives, no markers, no points of interest, no story bits, no nothing. Instead, you actually get these little things. So you even have like a little like alien eye here. This is like the alien <laughs> room here, um, where you could go and interact with different things, right? And and there's there's plenty more. Like I didn't use them all, as you can see. I used quite a few, but there's plenty more here that you could do. All right, here's here's some more so you could just add even more lights all over the place or uh, ammo crates or kind of whatever you wanted uh, which I think again pretty darn neat uh, really really enjoyed building this actually just I really didn't even like plan a whole bunch I just kind of played it by ear and just try to mess around with it almost like I had a bunch of Legos and I just wanted to build something out but Again, you could build several smaller structures. You could build one kind of longer, larger one. But for a starter set with all the little doodads and stuff like that, this was actually pretty, pretty interesting. And again, fully modular, right? And so um, the main thing that kind of keeps you from swapping them too much is these hooks, right? It's just kind of where they go. Uh, and that's just because of the structure I did. If it was just a square or something like that, that'd be different. Right. Or if I was building a, a layout, obviously it'd be different too, because you wouldn't even be using these. Right. But you know, like, like if I wanted to swap these two out, right, then suddenly that's missing a top, right? Cause it's a different shape. Whereas if I wanted to maybe put this here first, that should be fine because it's square on square and then this should be okay, except well, let's do that. There we go. Um, now I do have some overhangs here. Do you see? That's kind of the, the the one thing. I could try and maybe do it like that if I wanted. And then put this on here. And that's the same shape, so that works too. So there you go. Now I swapped this one with this one. And that looks pretty okay. Just because I, I happen to have another corner uh, that didn't have the, the hooks. Otherwise, it'd be hooking down, which might still be fine. Um, but anyway, that's it. That is that. Let's go and look at the dragon. This Xeno dragon, by the way, super, super cool. A very easy build. I was very happy about that. It was not hard at all. And, uh, when I was like building, I was like, oh, you know, not only would this work good on Nemesis, but this could totally be a Tyranid as well. Like I could give this to my son and he could make this into a Tyranid, especially if I had some bits, or whatever. Uh, some things I was impressed with are the wings. They're actually connected all the way down here, so they're very solid. So you can pick them up by one wing, and I'm not concerned about this at all. Um, it's hips plastic, so you can use the uh, plastic glue that kind of melts the glue together. So nice, sturdy there. Everything actually is quite sturdy, as you can see, um, which is quite nice as well. Uh, a lot of things were kind of snapping, like this actually snapped in. I probably could have gone away if I was just displaying it of not even gluing this one. This one's a little bit less snap-in, uh, but some things snapped in really well. This uh, headpiece snapped on quite well. Uh, overall, very good. The instructions were nice, very easy to follow. So I was, you know, I was happy about that. And obviously the detail was awesome. You see the little, little mouth and in, inside the mouth. Uh, very, very cool. And it does balance, which I was kind of concerned about, uh, just because the center of gravity, I feel like still is quite here, but I think having the wings come up are pretty good as well. Uh, very cool display piece though, for sure. Anyway, that's, uh, everything that I got there. I just wanted to kind of show it off and, uh, especially this, this kind of new, new way of doing the dungeons and the lasers i think is pretty awesome too so uh that's it i'll link down below to where you can get this uh and with that thank you so much for watching guys and i'll talk to you guys again really soon